Our first presenter is Banan Abolarab. The title of her presentation is The Effects of Early Life Neglect on Fentanyl-Induced Seeking Behavior During Adolescence and Adulthood. Hello everyone, my name is Fanan, and my research about how early life neglect leads to drug addiction. Opioid epidemic is a major health crisis in the US, escalating by 38.4% from pre-COVID level that caused more than 69,000 deaths in 2020. 67% involving synthetic opioid such as fentanyl. Fentanyl is 50 times stronger than heroin. I'm sure every one of you knows or heard of someone with drug addiction. So having a traumatic childhood or maltreatment will increase the risk of depression, anxiety, learning deficit, and that lasting for a long time. So that also coincide with susceptibility with opioid use disorder. In our lab, I stress rat animals by separating babies from their mom three hours daily for 16 days. Also, I have another group, control group, that babies stayed with their mom to compare between these two groups. Then I waited until the animal reached adolescence age. After that, I inject the animal with fentanyl in one box and placebo on the opposite box on alternating days for eight days. After that, I test the animal to see if the animal still remember the effect of the drugs. I found out during adolescence age with a maternal separation group that the animal spent more time on the drug bird chamber. And surprisingly, that persists through adulthood age for more than 42 days. Also, I'm expecting to see changes in developmental protein called fibroblast growth factor, or FGF2, in specific area in the brain responsible for learning and memory. This area called prefrontal cortex, hippocampus, and amygdala. To see if these changes will lead to drug addiction. So in our future direction, we are looking for treatment for both post-traumatic stress disorder and drug addiction. We are researching on ways to help people who are affected. I believe we should have empathy for this epidemic, not to be judgmental. Thank you.